In today's tip, I want to talk about using multiple displays with your Mac and how to utilize it with Final Cut Pro 10 as well. This is going to be more of a theoretical tip because we're only going to show the one display here. But if you do have multiple monitors connected to your computer, you can go into System Preferences just by going up to the Apple menu and select System Preferences. And then you'll want to go to the Displays System Preference pane. So on the current computer that I'm running, I'm on an iMac here, you can see the display, and there's an external monitor display connected to it. So if I go over onto that external display, there's actually a second display system preference pane that comes up, and it's one of Apple's uh, cinema displays, so you can see that here. And you do get options to change how they're uh, resolutions and brightness and all that. But what I want to talk about here is more the display arrangement that you can do. This is kind of cool because no matter where you position your displays, you'll see this arrangement tab in the display preference pane. So you can actually arrange where this is. So in this case, I have my primary display on my iMac here. And if I click on it, notice the red outline around the edge. That's just to help you know which monitor you're actually selecting here. And then Physically, to my right, I do have the second display over here, but I could actually move this display to a different area. If I physically have it positioned off to my left, I would move it to the left of my iMac display. And what that does, that allows you then to drag one window off onto the other display. So if you could see the di second display right now, it would actually be dragging off onto it. But in my case, the display is physically to the right, so I'm going to move it over here to the right side. In addition to having multiple displays connected to your Mac, you can also wirelessly AirPlay to another device like an Apple TV. So I actually have an Apple TV in my uh, unit here, and I could AirPlay and wirelessly use that as a second display, which is kind of a nice thing to do as well. If you have a big screen TV, you want to project your Final Cut project onto it, you can do that. And then inside of Final Cut Pro 10, when you do have multiple displays connected, you'll actually see this displays option in the toolbar. And all you need to do is click on this little dual monitor icon and it'll turn on the dual display mode. You can then click on this button to the right to choose what shows up in that second display. So currently it's set to viewer, which means this viewer here is gonna show up on the second monitor. So if I click the dual display modes, notice the viewer disappeared because now that's what's showing up on the second monitor. In addition, I could change this and maybe show my timeline on the second monitor instead. If you have a very large timeline, it can be helpful to show that on a second display. Or we could go in and show the browser on the second display. Now, the one other tip I want to end with here is this second monitor, and really any of your displays, don't have to be the normal vertical view like you see here. You could take that second monitor and rotate it, especially if you have it on a, an arm, you can rotate that display so that it's vertical. And especially with a browser, when you're browsing through clips, using that vertical orientation can really help out. So those are just a couple tips. If you go onto Apple's website, they do have a couple support documents. Uh, one of them is using an external monitor with your Mac, and you can take a little bit more of a deeper dive into this with working with the extended display like we did here. You can do video monitoring where you show up the same contents on both displays or use the AirPlay where you're going over to an Apple TV. And you can see some of the examples of that and what we talked about in this video. There's another article that's titled Final Cut Pro 10: View Playback on an External Monitor or Display. And this one goes into more detail about using an external monitor uh, as an actual AV output. So you can still continue to work like you normally do on your computer and connect to an AV output. And this is really great for using like a broadcast monitor where you want to really verify the colors and the look of your project. A little bit more advanced, if you don't have that equipment, there's no need to, to worry about this. But if you do have it, uh, this is something that can be very helpful. All you need to do then is go into the window menu and you have an option here to turn on that AV output when it's connected. So those are the tips for today on Mac OS, not specific to Mojave. These things have been around for a little bit of time, but just another Mac OS tip for you. If you want to learn something specific, leave it in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you back tomorrow.